The Practical Paleo and the 21 Day Sugar Detox. Diane San Filippo is in our kitchen and she is cooking for us today. All right, Diane. We're going to eat something really delicious, yes. but we are talking mainly today about sugar and how it is overtaking our lives and causing us a lot of strife. What yeah. is going on? Absolutely. So sugar is hiding in so many places. And, you know, I'm really here to empower people through food. And people often think about sugar as only being in treats, right, or something that's sugary tasting. True. But we're actually finding sugar in a lot of refined foods, pasta, bread. And that, the way that stuff what? acts in your body, it acts like sugar in your body very quickly. So we want to pull that stuff out. And I'm going to show you guys. So what kind do of problems does sugar cause? I mean, is it that harmful? So it causes us to feel tired, to feel like we're stressed out. We feel like we can't kind of recover. Each meal we're eating, we're never really getting satisfied. We mm -hmm. need more mm -hmm. carbs all the time. Everybody's, uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, right. yeah, we're really depleted from it, and we need to be putting nourishing foods back in our body instead. And the reason that you actually have written both <laughs> of these books is because yeah. you you suffered from that those same issues earlier on in your life, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, so I was a girl who couldn't run to Target for an hour without a granola bar in my purse because I was going to pass out I was so hungry all the time, and I felt like I was craving sugar nonstop. And so when I finally pulled the sugar out, pulled the refined foods out, I was feeling so much better. I can go much longer between meals, and my energy is so much better. Okay, so what can we do to break the cravings and, and you know, break the habit, really? Because it is a bit of a habit, isn't it? Yeah, so part of it is just really changing the food that we're eating and getting rid of that stuff on our plate. So we're focusing on high-quality proteins, healthy fats, and meals that really incorporate all of that vitamin C, Mm -hmm. high fiber, what I'm going to show you in today's dish. Mm, okay, bring in the dish because yeah. I can smell it over here already. Is that yeah. butter? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I can wow. smell the butter. Yeah, we've got some um, butter and oil, whatever type of cooking fat. I have lots of options for cooking fats in the book. So this is one of your go-to meals this for the paleo. absolutely a go-to meal, and my readers love it. So what we're cooking from today is a second edition of my book, Practical Paleo. And so uh, we're actually showing you how to make Easy recipes. This is so easy. Can we you, don't need to go crazy. Can Salt you remind and pepper. people what a paleo yeah, diet is? Yeah, I was going to ask is. that question. Yeah. Exactly what So it is. people get really confused about it and they get really intimidated, right? It's a naturally gluten-free way to eat. We're simply eating real whole foods, uh, meat, vegetables, seafood, eggs, nuts and seeds. It's nothing crazy, nothing to be scared of. Uh, sometimes people call it a caveman diet, but it's definitely, yeah. it's not all meat. This, this dish does have good protein in it, but we're eating tons of veggies as well. You have amazing recipes in this book. I'd like to take a look at it. If we, I think we've already, look at this book. Take a look at this. Walk us through this a little bit. So we've got recipes for uh, spaghetti squash bolognese is a great way to eat a nourishing meal, lots of protein, healthy fats, and folks are looking to replace spaghetti with something that's a vegetable. Exactly, because of the spaghetti squash. Yeah, and here I've got uh, portobello mushrooms used instead of a bun, and we can be eating burgers. They're totally filling. It's great man food as well. I know you guys are talking about uh, tailgate parties. And then this is our lemon artichoke chicken. Now, what part of the chicken should we be using? Does it matter? So we can use anything we want. We can use chicken breasts. We can use legs and thighs. I like to do meat on the bone because you're getting a lot of nourishing minerals from the bones, which is what we have here. But you can use any uh, any part. Any so part you just you like. salt and peppered it with some butter because I could smell the butter browning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so browning so in dairy, here. Dairy is okay in paleo. Is da dairy is cool. We like to use uh, clarified butter, which is often called ghee. Right. You can use either of those, or you can use butter. Butter right. is totally okay. okay. Is everyone? Can you use anything digging? other than salt and pepper? I just use salt and pepper on this one because we're going to season it right now. Uh, we're adding in some shallots, which are going to cook down in the pan and here. Clearly, you need it on a really high heat. This is a high heat. Okay. We want to get a nice sear on that chicken, which we have, and it's mm -hmm. gorgeous. I love um, that lemon on So what we're doing as well is yeah. putting in lemon juice, and the lemon juice is going to bring out a ton of flavor. Mm -hmm. You don't. You can add more seasonings if you want to. I love using something like a Greek spice blend, which I have in the book as well. Ooh, I love that. So you can totally use that. But if you don't have it, you don't have to worry. The lemon juice, the capers, mm. wow. capers are underrated, they very really much are. like olives. Nope. They, they add amazing flavor. Oh, I love a good caper. Me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. Very savory. <laughs> 
<laughs> very, no hi hat for that. I got a laugh. No. You know why? We've been really. They're not no. giving us as many I know. laughs. They're making as we us work. They're today. making us work. They're for the eating. Raising the bar. That's right. Sorry. So this is Actually, this oh, is one of the go-to the recipes you make <laughs> for the sugar detox. Yeah. So when we're looking to get sugar cravings under control, we really want to make sure we're eating a good amount of protein and healthy fats. And that's something that folks are usually confused about because we feel like we can't eat too much fat. But the truth is, if we're eating healthy fats, what's right on the chicken right there? I like to use organic mm -hmm. chicken whenever possible. And that's going to help you get rid of those cravings so you won't feel like you need sugar all the time when you're eating a really satisfying meal. But how is your detox different than the others? Because I'm going to tell you, honestly, Diane, when people hear detox, I they know. think, oh my gosh, juices, yeah. this and that. Oh, I don't want to do it. It's some sort of weird fat. So. What I do is actually give you real whole foods. There's no juices or powders or potions. And when we pull out the refined foods that are just spiking your blood sugar and crashing you, you know, you feel hungry an hour or two after a meal, you really should feel full mm -hmm. for three or four hours, maybe more. And so when mm -hmm. you eat a meal like this, that's what keeps you away from the sugar. You don't, and actually you need the nutrients that are in foods like this for your liver to detox naturally. You need yeah. those. So juices Debbie, really aren't have, gonna do you it. You have to taste this. So it's I so flavorful, wait. it's very flavorful. No. 